David Hack Saltwater Ventures, the television series, is being brought to you by Bonefish Master, Stella Mars, Long Island, Bahamas, and by Southern Air, Nassau, Bahamas. I'm in Nassau, and we're heading to Long Island, where I'm going to be uh, the guest of Roger Truss. And right now, we're waiting for the shuttle bus to come and uh, take us to the domestic uh, terminal, uh, which is an old terminal. But right now, this is the brand new terminal here in uh, Nassau. So, shuttle ought to be here shortly, and we'll make the short run over to uh, the domestic terminal and get on Southern Air, who has provided the tickets to us uh, to go to Long Island. Throw Raft Survivor is a personal safety life raft that all boaters should own. It's lightweight, repackable, and easily stored. The Survivor comes in two models, the automatic that self-inflates when submerged underwater, the manual that inflates when you pull the manual inflator cord. The Survivor also has side grab ropes, reflection tape, an oral inflator and deflator tube, and a personal whistle signal device. To order, call 1-800-565-6056 or log on to throwraft.com. If you're serious about your fishing, then use only the best in reels. Quai Advanced two-speed reels come in sizes 12, 16, 22, and 30, all with comfort fit fighting grip and easy shift transmission. Quai's high gear ratio jigging reels come in sizes 12 and 16 and are available in single or two speed. Quai's NLF spinning reels come in sizes 30, 50, and 70 and are saltwater and braid ready. Visit quaiafishing.com to see their full line of dependable reels. At Banana Boat, we test our broad spectrum sunscreen so it stays on in seven conditions. In pool water, in wind, of course in sweat, in sand, sun, 100 degree heat, and ocean water. Banana Boat stays on in all seven conditions for UVA, UVB protection and fun. Banana Boat, we've got you covered. Dave would check in with Southern Air, who provided flight accommodations. The flying time would take about 45 minutes. It's a beautiful sunrise and it's time to head for the marina to meet with guy Jed Pratt. It's a 20 minute run before Dave would wet a line to target the elusive bonefish. Uh, this is a small blue crab. This is a blue crab and we caught those out in the mangroves this yeah. morning. So we're going to rig them with that little weight and we're going to rig a full crab. Yeah, I took a crab on the on the jig. Okay, this will be jumping. So all that crab, that's all we used was just that little bit of piece of meat. Yeah. All right. All right. Right now, I'm in Long Island, Bahamas, and we're fishing out of uh, Stella Maris, which is uh, the little village or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm over here at the invite of Roger Truss who has started a service with uh, Jed Pratt, who's right here. He's a guide, he's, he's a guide over here, knows his stuff. Um, right now, we're fishing in deep water because we have high tide and we're doing what we call, uh, we're looking for a smoke trail of the bones while they're feeding on the bottom. And what we're doing is we're just casting out with a piece of uh, crab on a, on a jig. And you can see that the, the difference in the water and the coloration you got green and then you got this cloudy stuff and that's what we call smoke because that's where the bones are nosing and feeding on, uh, on uh, the bait in the water. Oh, this feels like a better fish. Fish on. That's a good fish here. Huh? 
that's just a nice bone right there, but they get bigger than this, and they're going to be smaller than this, but this is a nice quality fish right here. Nice bone fish. We're getting back in the water. Now, if we had been here at low tide this morning, we could have been uh, walking, the walking the flats because the water would be cool. Once the water, once it gets, sun gets up, starts to get warm, fish like a uh, nice temperate climate, they're going to move out here into this four, five, six foot of water. Yeah. And then when it tide starts going out and the water gets warmer here, they're going to move out into deeper water as well. Yeah. Okay. Fish on. <laughs> Uh, little fish ate the big ate the big chunk of crab. Later, you know, just a small bone, but you know, it's it's not about the size; it's about the quality of the fish and the number of fish that you're going to catch. So, if you come for bone fishing, you know, you, you always take the chance on getting a big one, but you're going to have to take the small ones with the uh, with the big ones. Oh, say, howdy, howdy. This feels like another good one. The last one threw the hook right at the boat. Yeah, nice bone. What, two, three pounds, maybe a pound? Not very big, but a decent fish, healthy fish. Come on, baby, take it. Fish on. They call these fish a silver ghost. We let Jet do the honors. Now they got a they got a tough old nose because they're they're into the sand looking for a crab and stuff. And they got just a little bitty row of teeth like brush. All right, let's get him back. Yeah. All right, Jed's got one on. Up close and personal. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of him. Fish on, another bone. Uh, he's a runner. These are they're a great game fish. Um, you know. They fight hard, they pull hard, especially if you got, you know, a, a, a lightweight rod like this. I mean, it's fun. They double the rod up, 10 pound test line, you know, set the drag just so you're not breaking the line on them. This is a strong fish, they're very strong. Hold them up here, Jed, when you get done so we can, let me give you some slack in the line for you. I got a tough mouth. Another, ah, ah, let him go, quick release. 
All right, let's go ahead. That's our uh, guide, Jed. All right, let's get him back gently in the water. We moved around a couple of different areas in here where we've seen that the water is clouding what we call the smoke trail where the fish are feeding on the bottom. So we're just looking for different areas because the fish move, they don't stay in one spot. So we moved two or three different times to see if we can't pick up some fish. They're in here, you know, you just gotta be patient with them. And we're, like I said, we're using a crab with a, with a uh, bucktail uh, jig that's white and it's got a uh, copper colored head. We got a lot of wind, but fortunately, we're getting to cast with the wind. So it's made a big difference rather than trying to cast into the wind. So I got a line in the water and I'm just waiting for the nibble. Picked it up on the way when I was cranking in to check the bait. I'll be darn. He must have been just had it in his mouth, sucking on it, tasting it. The minute I took it away from him, he got it. He saw Jed there and he decided he didn't want any part of Jed or me. They are a game fighter. Hold him up there to the camera, Jed. Let him get it. This is Jed Pratt. He's the guide over here, over here in Long Island. With uh, He's got a service. He does a great job. He's put us on a lot of fish. All right, Jed. They don't take long to get back in the water, do they? Let me tell you, Jed knows where to put you on some fish. I mean, we've moved several different times, but every time we've been catching fish. So not a lot of big fish, but, you know, nice fish. Catch more game fish with Scent Blazer Lures. It's a scientific fact that all game fish, billfish, tuna, and dolphin fish use their acute sense or smell to find bait fish. Take advantage of this by loading natural baits like ballyhoo, mackerel, or squid inside Scent Blazer Lures so they taste and smell like real fish. You can also add lights and glow sticks to illuminate the entire lure. Get Scent Blazer Lures behind your boat to get more fish in your boat. Buy your scent blazers now at scentblazer.com. P-Lines Adaro pliers come with aluminum handles, tungsten carbide cutters, and jaws with coated carbon steel for strength and durability. P-Lines new Shinsei line was created for tying the perfect leader or the ultimate top shot. And their fluorocarbon has very low stretch and absorbs very little water. The CX Premium is ultra thin and strong with low memory. The CXX Extra Strong is abrasive resistant and tough. So use only the best, P-Line. Visit p-line.com and fish with confidence. Cables is the next generation in eyewear retention, and it's the original. It's just not another eyewear soccer cord. Cables are innovative, reliable pieces of equipment that you need. Cables are made of surgical grade steel cable and industrial strength rubber. Cables patented technology solves the problems associated when using other eyewear retainers on the market. It does not catch on clothing, stays off your neck, allows a full range of motion, and will not distract or irritate your skin. Visit cables.com today. 
been said that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Well, behold. Behold water so blue, it merges with the sky above. Behold natural beauty above the sea and far below. Behold smiles so wide, they stretch across the face of an entire nation. Behold the islands of the Bahamas. For you first time bone fishermen, I'm gonna suggest some items that you need to bring with you when you come to bonefish and it's very important that you bring these. First thing, lightweight clothing, shirts, pants, long sleeve shirts. Next thing, a good cap with a broad bill and a flap on the back to protect your neck. Shoes, something in the boat to wear that are comfortable. These are Crocs. Another thing, if you're going to do some wade fishing, you need a good pair of booties. Be sure to wear a pair of socks inside of those so that you don't wear a hole into your, into your skin. The other thing is bring a pair of sunglasses that uh, have UV protection and that are polarized so that you can see in the water. And one of the most important things is sunscreen. You can't have enough sunscreen, so bring plenty of sunscreen, all right? Those are some of the items that you need to bring. If you can think of anything else, bring it with you because when you get to some of these isolated places, you're not going to be able to get what you need. Let me tell you something, the reason that we're continuing on with this deep water fishing, which is probably four to five feet, is because we have high tide. And the outgoing tide isn't going to happen until later. So we can't do any flats fishing right now. And by the, we're not sure what time high tide is going to be out and low tide is going to be in, somewhere around maybe five o'clock. So we're going to uh, continue on here with what we're doing and put some more fish to the boat. And when we run out of this crab and uh, water, we're going to the uh, dock. And, man, I just made a cast, and before we ever got the camera on, we got a bone. A nice bonefish, yep, healthy. Fish on. Now, some of these fish that you see are a different color. That's because of the color of the sand and stuff that they're working on. Got them bright, dark eyes. Got that nose and that mouth. All right. Boy, he swam right toward me, too. You know, this light tackle, they all feel like they're good, you know, big fish. But the light tackle is what makes it interesting and makes it fun. He's a little bigger, not much. What do you think? That's a little bit better fish. Yeah. A little bit bigger. Nice color. Got that blue ghost look to him. All right, let's put him back. He deserves it. Fish on. Fish off. Fish on. There he is. Be careful there. See, if I don't put any pressure on him, he won't try to get away. He'll just swim right along. Then I put some pressure on him. He's all about jumping and dancing. Right where you're supposed to hook him in the, in the mouth. Okay, go ahead. is uh, Jed Pratt who is the guide for 
Jed Pratt uh, Guide Service down here in Long Island and uh, out of Stella Maris. Jed, thanks for taking the time to uh, do the show with me today. We caught a lot of bonefish, and I want you to tell me briefly about your service. How long have you been uh, guiding down here? Well, I was guiding now for about 28 years. All right, and today we did uh, deep water fishing because the tide was up and we really couldn't do any uh, uh, flats fishing, but we're going to try flats fishing maybe later on. Uh, your boat is what, a 17 foot? Yeah, it's about 17, 18 foot. Got a 154 horse uh, uh, motor on the back. It gets along good. It's very clean. He also has got a pole with him. Uh, he's got radio communication back here in case something happens. Anyway, it's been a great day. I don't know how many bones we caught. I know there was more than a dozen uh, uh, all on crab. And I want to thank you for taking the time again to uh, do the show with me. I appreciate it very much. Well, I'm, I'm always happy to do it. That's Jed Pratt, and I'm David Hack down here in Long Island and uh, Stella Maris, the Bahamas. With me is my good friend Roger Truss. Roger, thanks for taking time to join me and inviting me to this beautiful uh, island down here, uh, Stella Maris. I appreciate it very much. Any opportunity to uh, check out your new uh, operation that you have on your uh, Bonefish Master uh, Guide Service uh, in cooperation with uh, Jed Pratt. You two have formed a, a little uh, alliance here. But uh, I got to tell you, the fishing's been excellent. A lot of great bones. Uh, no, no shortage of bones, that's for <laughs> sure. Tell me about the accommodations that you have here for your uh, clients that are going to come in and fish. Well, we have a really nice uh, villa. It's two bedrooms, one bath. Has a really nice view of the Atlantic. Full accommodations uh, as it relates to kitchen facilities, uh, living room, TV. Really nice place. Uh, I believe everybody would really enjoy it. And it's fully air conditioned, I might add as well. This is Stella Mars, the settlement, not to be uh, named with the resort that's here. So Stella Mars settlement is different from Rogers, uh, uh, what he's got going on from the resort that is here. So don't get those two confused. His is a separate operation. Uh, you know, like I said, Jed Pratt put us on some great fish. Uh, couldn't beat the fishing. You know, we had some small bones. We had some medium-sized bones. Everything went uh, perfect. Uh, in here, flying in here and everything. Everything was just, uh, you had it laid out just perfect for us to come in and, and do the show. Well, it was a pleasure to work with you and have you down here because I'm very familiar with Saltwater Ventures and we've been friends for a long time and exactly. been really wanting to get you down here for quite a while. And Jed is just a world-class uh, bone fisherman uh, par excellence, uh, fourth generation guide. And uh, he's tip tops, and he will always put you on fish, no matter what the conditions are. So uh, looking forward to you know, people giving us a ring, and so we can hook them up and get them on some bones. Roger, thanks a lot. I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Oh, uh, my pleasure. You know, Long Island, the Bahamas, Stella Maris, the uh, settlement. P-Lines of Darrell pliers come with aluminum handles, tungsten carbide cutters, and jaws with coated carbon steel for strength and durability. P-Lines' new Shinsei line was created for tying the perfect leader or the ultimate top shot. And their fluorocarbon has very low stretch and absorbs very little water. The CX Premium is ultra thin and strong with low memory. The CXX Extra Strong is abrasive resistant and tough. So use only the best, P-Line. Visit p-line.com and fish with confidence. Kauai Advanced Reels offer you dependability. There are four models to choose from in the two-speed series, the Q12-2, 16, 22, and 30, all with extreme free spool, comfort-fitting fighting grip, easy shift transmission, and heavy-duty stainless gears. Kauai also has the same four sizes with single-speed transmissions, as well as a complete line of NLF spinning reels in sizes to fit your needs. For more information on the Kauai line of reels, visit KauaiFishing.com. The Ruger SR9C Compact Pistol never has the word compact meant so much. The SR9C features a 10-round magazine with finger grip extension, 17-round magazine with grip extension adapter, and Ruger's unique reversible back strap. The SR9C also features a high-visibility three-dot sight system, built-in accessory mounting rail, and ambidextrous thumb safety and magazine release. The Ruger SR9C, another American-made product from Ruger. Looking for a great way to advertise your fishing charter service, eco or fishing lodge? 
air charter service, resort or hotel, dive operation, travel agency, or fishing tackle and get maximum exposure for your dollar? Then Saltwater Ventures and Adventures in Eco, the television series, offer you that opportunity. For more information, email svtv at bellsouth.net or visit saltwaterventures.com. We look forward to promoting your service. David Hack's Saltwater Ventures, the television series, has been brought to you by Bonefish Master, Stella Maris, Long Island, Bahamas, Southern Air, Nassau, Bahamas, and by Banana Boat, P-Line, Quiet, Three Brothers, Rachel Screen Printing, Ruger, GoPro, Hook and Tackle, Scent Blazer, Dexter, Cables, Flambo, Coleman, Throw Wrap, New Braunfels Smokehouse Jerky, Penn, Shakespeare, Fenwick, Crocs, High Sierra, Stearns, Temple Fork, and Poulan. Contact Bonefish Master at 954-338-6698. For Southern Air, 954-302-3107 or 242-377-2015. Special thanks to Bonefish Master, Gail and Roger Truss, and Guy Jed Pratt. Southern Air, the Sheba Gibbs, Captain Nathaniel Gibbs, and the staff. Log on to saltwaterventures.com for sponsors, advertisers, and resort information. Or email svtv at bellsouth.net. This is Tow Truck Mike Murray. On behalf of the Saltwater Ventures crew, we'll catch you next time.